We have recently added a few features to BarEye's performance reports at the request of a client. Uh, and so this video will quickly explain those new features so you can get the most out of them and ensure that these performance reports are as useful a tool as possible. So the first addition was these three metrics you see down here in this table. Um, this was basically a request from a client that typically gets very high numbers but wanted a way to look deeper into numbers. Um, in this example you see this week they've scored 99% accountability but there's still some variance in terms of some product missing, um, some product overrun um, and so this allows them to sort of get a handle on that. So the first column is percentage rung as unknown. This is a measure of how well your point of sale system is set up. Obviously we want as little gray area as possible and so the aim like this bar is is to have 0% overall unknown. Uh, if your metrics are showing higher for your bar then that can be addressed by reprogramming the point of sale and we can help you with that. The second metric, once you have your point of sale system set up well, uh, this second metric becomes more meaningful and it measures the average amount of variance between what was rung and poured in each category. So this client is seeing a 15% variance in liquor, which is obviously higher. That's partly the product of having a larger liquor selection, but this gives the opportunity to talk to bartenders about their precision, make sure they're ringing what they're pouring. And again, um, it means that 99% audits perhaps um, are not all equal, and this gives an idea on how where the differences might lie and how you can address them. The third metric is this inventory ratio. This is the ratio of how much inventory you have in stock compared to what you used last week. Um, in a perfect world, of course, it could be one, but because of you don't know what your sales are going to be, it's obviously going to be higher. Um, they have their inventory ratio at 5.5, which is pretty good and low. Um, you can see, though, there's an opportunity to shrink their inventory on liquor because they have 21 times what they use per week. Um, again, this is just a metric that's going to help you reduce the amount of money you tie up in your inventory. So those are the first three. And then jumping to page five, the Every Product Detail page, you see we've added these two new columns. This first column, liquor cost, shows the liquor cost on individual products. Obviously, the point of sale needs to be set up correctly for this to be a meaningful statistic, but enables you to compare the pricing on different products within a category and perhaps identify which products should have price changes. And then the second column is helpful, it's analyzing those liquor cost percentages. Um, it's splitting the liquor cost percentages into four percentile buckets by category. So anything that's in the top 25% will have a green arrow. Anything that's in the 25 to 50% percentile will have this upward facing orange arrow. 50 to 75 has this downward facing arrow and bottom 25% has this red arrow. So the red items where you might start to look at if the pricing is correct and maybe bring those in line with your other products. So that's about it. Hope this was helpful. Um, if you're finding your wishing we had other metrics, let us know. And if we can, we'll add them. Um, thank you again for watching.